Are you cheating on me, Zeke? Are you and Yvette hooking up again? Sounds like she's just trying to prove to everyone that she and Keeve are the real deal, even though everyone seems to know that their relationship is a sham. I've been by your side since day one, Viv, and I plan to stand by your side. You gotta let me in. Just let me in. What's going on between us was never meant to last. Why not? Just think about it. If you and I decide to be public, then you'll be safe from my family's attacks. Absolutely not. Get out of here right now. Hey, Nichelle. Is everything okay? How come you needed to meet me in person? Like I told you over the phone, I need to ask you an important question. What do you need to ask? How come you decided to have an affair with Gianni Russo when you knew that he was a married man? When are the two of us going to go to your room? Whenever I say so. Besides, we agreed that you wouldn't lay a finger on me. So I don't get why you're in such a hurry. Actually, I'm not going to have you asking me every three seconds. Get out of my face, Keith. Yvette, we need to talk. Didn't I make it clear that you and I were to never see each other again? Listen, Dr. Murphy, I understand that I overstepped when it came to your issue with my dad, but I'm also not ready to let you go. Have you made amends with Quinlan yet? She's still giving me the silent treatment. What do you think would encourage her to make peace with you, Pacha? The best thing I can think of is providing Quinlan with her own news program. Maybe you should help her dream to come true. I knew you would ask me about this eventually since it's been all over the news. Believe me, Quinlan, I'm not asking you this question to shame you. It's just that I really need to know. All right, what I want you to know is that I wasn't trying to destroy Johnny's marriage at all. It's just that the two of us enjoyed one another's company. Did he think that you were more attractive than his wife? The issues Gianni had with Heidi began long before I came along. But what's this really all about, Nichelle? It's about Zeke. I've been trying to figure out if he's cheating on me again or not. What are you doing here, Zeke? I don't remember sending you an invite. I heard that you were having a party and knew that it was the perfect time to speak with you. Speak with me about what? Nichelle thinks you and I are hooking up again and... I need you to convince her that we ain't. Your girlfriend already spoke with me about you. It's not my fault if she thinks you're still cheating on her. But I think she'll stop being so paranoid this weekend. Why do you say that? Zeke, if you can excuse us, my girlfriend and I need to spend some quality time together. Get off me. I didn't even call you yet. Get your hands off me, Keith. My decision to let you go isn't up to you, Alan. I know that I can't force you to stay with me. I was never with you to begin with, okay? I did appreciate the time you and I shared together, but it's time for us to move on. How come? It feels like we only started to get to know each other. Dr. Murphy, what are you so afraid of? I can't just give Quinlan her own news program, Viv. Not after the media is labeling her as some sort of homewrecker. Don't you know how many celebrities became famous for their scandalous deeds? Except I run a respectable media company. Since GNP isn't known for showcasing trashy TV, I can't take that risk. Alright, if you won't give Quinlan her own news program, then the least you can do is let her share her side of the story. I gave her that chance, remember? And she turned it down. I doubt that she'd want to discuss it now. 
Not when she expressed to me how important her relationship with Ben is. If they still have a relationship. But I don't think that bothers you one bit since he's still a shareholder of his family's company. What makes you think that Zeke is cheating on you again? I already told you how different your brother has been acting lately. Yvette is also dating the police commissioner's son, but I don't think she likes him at all. I'm beginning to think that she's only pretending to like him to cover up the fact that she's hooking up with Keeve. Did you speak with Zeke about it? I did, and he denied it. But you don't believe him? No, I don't. And I hate that I can't trust him. Michelle, the problem with Zeke isn't with another girl. You're saying that like you know what the real problem is. Don't you dare touch me. Don't you ever touch me again. I know you don't expect me to stay in this room and do nothing. You've got your phone. Don't you, Keith? Just play games or watch videos. Since you dragged me to my room, I'm gonna sleep the alcohol out of my system. I think you should do the same. I'm not drunk. Huh? Then what were you drinking? You know what? It doesn't even matter. You're right, Yvette. It doesn't matter. There was no way I was going to be drunk the first time I've ever been alone with a girl in her bedroom. And I'm not going to leave this room empty-handed. What are you talking about? I'm sure you've had countless guys in your room. None of them were your boyfriend. You gave them something and I deserve exactly what you gave them. Get out. No. Keith, if you get any closer, then I swear I'll scream. Go ahead. The music is pretty loud, so I doubt anyone's gonna hear you. Besides, with your reputation, I doubt anyone is gonna think you're screaming for help. Get off me! Shh! Don't fight it, Yvette. Maybe you should just pretend that I'm JJ. Just like I'm pretending that you're Vanessa. I'm not afraid of anything. Like I said before, I know that I was probably doing a bit too much suggesting that we go public, but I was only searching for a solution after my dad threatened you. The only solution to any of this is to end what's going on between us. Is that really what you want? It doesn't matter what I want. We need to call it quits. Neither of us should have fallen for each other the way we did. So you did fall for me. Do you care about me as much as I care about you, Dr. Murphy? Alan, I need you to walk out of that door. Not until I get an answer. An honest answer. Fine. Yes, I've grown to have feelings for you, Alan. But I shouldn't. We shouldn't have slept together in the first place. But we did. Don't you know how tired I am of you speaking to me like I'm the Wicked Witch? I don't think that of you, Viv. Maybe if you tell me the full truth about why you're going after Russo Jewelers, then I wouldn't have to come up with all of these theories. The truth, Pacho, is that Russo Jewelers belongs to me. Belongs to you how? It's my birthright. What do you know about Zeke, Quinlan? That's something you need to ask my brother. I've asked, but he hasn't opened up because he's afraid that you'll leave him. What is he hiding that would make him think that I would end our relationship again? Just assure him that if he's completely honest, then you'll work things out with him. What I can assure you is that he's not involved with another girl. It was good seeing you, Nichelle. Stop it, Keith. Get off. Just close your eyes and pretend I'm JJ and you're Vanessa. Stop. Yo, get off her. I really wish that I could stay over. So do I. But I don't know when Key will get back. All right. At least we can still get to see each other. Just for a little bit. We'll see. But Viv, you're not even a Russo. You have no claim to that company. And the Russos made sure of that. These vague responses, they only make things more confusing for me. Fine then, Pacha. I'll help you make more sense of it. Let me ask you this. Do you truly believe that I have no claim to Russo Jewelers because I ain't family? 
you already know that I support your desire to make this hostile takeover, but I don't understand why you would call Russo Jewelers your birthright. It's in the name, but I can't stop you from at least trying to take over the company. Exactly. You can't stop me. But you're wrong about one thing, Pacho. I do have a claim to that company, and I'll gladly tell you why. I've got a claim to that company because I am family. What? How are you related to the Russos? It's quite simple, actually. Remember when I told you that my mama raised me on her own and that my daddy wasn't in the picture? Yeah? What? Is your dad some relative of the Russos? He's definitely a relative. In fact, he's the head of the family. Lorenzo Russo is my daddy. 